Well, visit any place with history and you're certain to hear the stories of hauntings. All this week, we're looking at the hidden haunts in our area. You can decide for yourself whether if these spooky locations are haunted. We're going to start at Lyon College, where our Macy Davis went, and she tells us the Brown Chapel is said to have a few spirits haunting the chapel. Brown Chapel, known by some as the heart of Lyon College's campus, holds a lot of tradition, memories, and stories. A number of stories that are related to, we'll call them hauntings. Probably the most notable of the stories. According to Dr. David Hutchison, the Vice President for Advancement at Lyon College, many can be traced back to before Lyon College, formerly known as Arkansas College, was founded. This was actually a Masonic orphanage for many years. Uh, the orphanage eventually closed and the college took over these properties in the mid-1950s. And the buildings were right up here, actually. Um, some beautiful uh, Baroque buildings were on this uh, hill. The encounters that have been told over the years involve hearing the laughter of children who may have once lived in the orphanage. Those same kids have allegedly been seen playing in the chapel. One of the most significant ones is that in the light of dusk, if you look at the crown of the steeple, sometimes you can see children dancing around the steeple playing Ring Around the Rosie. I've never seen it myself, um, but I can say that just like on the stage in Brown Chapel, I have heard what sometimes sounded like children laughing. Some Lion students even coming in at night to see if the tales hold any truth, particularly for one involving a ghost named Michael. The tradition says that late at night you can sometimes hear Michael playing and if you set out something like a ball on the stage, Michael loves toys and so Michael will sometimes roll the ball across the stage. Hutchison is part of a music group that rehearses in Brown Chapel on a weekly basis and sometimes unexplained events occur. Many times in between songs we hear what sounds like a voice or something being dragged around in the backstage, but nobody's ever here. We've even gotten up and checked and never found anything. The rumors and encounters well known by students that attend the college. When I found out I was doing this story yesterday, I walked past Brown Chapel and I kind of like, you know, the hairs on my arm started standing up and stuff. The building gives senior Aiden McGowan an eerie vibe kind of creepy a wee bit, especially at night when you're walking on your own around campus, you know. Um, there's stories of like, you know, you can see like the, the children of like the orphanage playing in the steeple and stuff. The college has even had ghost hunters come check the building out. A medium came with them. She came into the building and the story is that she kind of stopped halfway through the uh, main auditorium here said that she was feeling, experiencing some kind of presence and began to guess, is it is it Nathaniel? Is it Mark? Is it Matthew? No, it's Michael. Beyond Brown Chapel, there may actually be more corners of Lyons campus that are home to mysterious occurrences. And they revolve around this tapestry, which was gifted to the college many years ago. And the story goes that the tapestry actually was in the room of a bride on the day of her wedding who unexpectedly and tragically died the day of her wedding. That tapestry still resides in the Bevins Music Room. In the evening, especially in moonlight, students have said that if you come in here, you will catch a glimpse of the bride-to-be dancing in the moonlight with her groom-to-be. So are there ghosts haunting Lyon College? I don't know if there are children dancing on the steeple of Brown. But I know that I've heard these stories for an awful lot of people, and I have occasionally experienced a few odd disturbances myself. So who am I to say? And you can watch our Hidden Haunts reports every night this week at 10 o'clock, and then join us for a special hour-long Hidden Haunts Halloween night at 8 o'clock on all our streaming platforms.